This movie is entertaining about a strange smart man who is short but wants to be successful. He turns his kids really, really small. This is a great movie. There was a TV series in the late 90s in the sequel Wayne Shalinsky. Rick Morin is, is a crazy scientist who was troubled by his inventions in this Disney classic. Hidden away from his family is a machine that will shrink anything its beam touches. The only problem is it doesn't work. Imagine Shalinsky's surprise when he and his wife return home to find both their children, the thinking chair that occupies the attic and their neighbor's children are all missing. They slowly come to realize that after an accident with a baseball ball the shrinking machine actually works and their children are fighting for their lives in the back garden. This love wobble 80s comedy packs a lot of H and into its 93 minutes was to capture his more and is at his best. Matt Frewer appears as the complaining neighbor whilst his wife is played by Buffy star Christine Sutherland. The effects employed in the film add to its likable quality with a fight scene between the end and an invading scorpion being a favorite. The children, Thomas Wilson Brown, Jared Rushton, Amy O'Neill and Robert Oliveri, make their new smallness believable without being annoying or pretty but the overall star of the film is more in his. After a visual acting break, he's appeared in several films as a speaking part. Rewatching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids may leave you wondering why he hasn't been in more. Best Line I don't think we're in the food chain anymore, Dorothy. Best performance, Marina's.